Hello guys, welcome back. I am Ansel and this time we're going to talk about Shade the Changing Woman number four. So another young animal book. Uh, I have already discussed a few of the details of what I think of the current status of the young animal books. Um, recently when I discussed, I believed it was, I think it was Cape Carson. No, which one did I do? Oh, Mother Panic. It was Mother Panic. Uh, some of the mistakes or errors or problems that I discussed in that video for the young animal situation applied, I also applied in here. Um, which in summary are the, a lot of mess, a lot of... I don't know what's happening behind the scenes. I don't know what's happened behind the scenes, but it has really affected these books. The previous era, the previous uh, maxi series for each one of these... Uh, this beautiful character because they are great were, were awesome with good art good wacky stories uh, psychedelic stories supernatural stories so real uh, stories they were awesome they were good then we had milk wars which was great but after milk wars everything is going downhill and, and all the series that were supposed to be another 12 issues are, had been cut down to six issues and in this one in shade the changing woman i do believe that it has been felt the most because this was 20 pages of a story, 20 pages of a story. And in 20 pages, we get uh, a lot of details about an um, upcoming alien invasion that just feels a little out of nowhere that, oh, hey, there is an alien invasion now. We also get in an spread page, like what could have been very well a whole issue of backstory of how this alien invasion is connected to Loma's past. We also get like very quick and very glossed over uh, a fight between Loma and Rack, like the shade, uh, the shade woman and the shade man. Uh, um, like they come to an agreement about how the heart is useless, and then they come to a disagreement about the same thing, all in the course of like a few panels. Uh, so it's like a boomerang. It's, it's, it's like she was like, "I'm gonna join this guy." He's going, well, "No, I'm not." For, never mind. Um, then we have uh, like a very rushed investigation of all the madness happening around the world that are caused by Megan's ghost that is inhabiting a, a, a man right now. And we get a little more details about he or she, uh, um, or his or her uh, uh, evil deeds, and how he slash she is taking revenge on everyone that wrongs her, or at least that everyone that she, he, believes wrong her him whatever um in one panel we get an overview of lipok joining the green lantern corp or something like that uh, uh, what, what else what else um we have loma dealing with her past with her stories uh, like dealing with a lot of internal issues uh, and, and struggling with them and, and, and coming to decision, we also s suddenly get like a few waves of, of political conspiracies that are happening. And that, hey, oh my god, surprise, they are connected to this sort of alien invasion. Uh, and then we had to get the, what I've been calling the heart quest, which, uh, which is also feels like a boomer. It's like, I don't need my heart, I'm gonna throw it away, no way, I need it. Come back, what is it? Um, so yeah, this is like too damn much. I'm gonna have to say that the number of plot lines in this issue is too damn high. Why? This this was not necessary. I mean, like like at least three or four of the things that I have mentioned could have been very well a whole issue if this was or uh, if this was still meant to be 12 issues long so it feels like everything is being rushed to fit this in only six issues and and, and it feels extremely it feels, it feels like a mess so i'm extremely disappointed because the original 12 issues uh, wrong of shady changing girl were awesome i really liked the story and it, it made me love this character and now i just see her running through through the plot points it's like we don't get to understand her anymore we don't get to really feel what's happening to her anymore as we used to do in those first 12 issues there is so it is it is, it is sad this, this is sad um another thing is that the, the abrupt change from girl to woman i mean i don't know why that decision was taken but it would, could have been very beautiful 
since we spent 12 issues knowing this girl to see her slowly or at least gradually becoming a woman but it does happen in like half a page during at the end of Milk Wars and I, I don't believe that was ever really justified as, as as Mother Party being another goth and alternate Gotham was justified so so young animal what happened to you? You, you, you were the chosen one uh, so yeah this 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 is very sad. Uh, so, yeah, I'm disappointed. What else can I say? I can only give this two Lomas out of five, and I'm going to stick to that because I'm sad. This could have been a lot, a lot better. So, hopefully, the last two issues can give this a nice wrap-up. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, so, yeah, if you liked Milk Works, Click the like button because I'm not going to say you like this one. Uh, comment down below what your take on this young animal situation is. Uh, I would like to hear that from you. And I'm going to go I'm gonna go be disappointed somewhere else. So I guess I guess see you guys next disappointed, disappointing time. But thank you guys for watching. I'm not disappointed about it. So see ya.